What's going on, everybody? We are up in Mid Coast, Maine today, and I'm doing a little hike. I'm gonna take you to a really uh, cool spot. Um, this is near uh, Phippsburg, and um, so we're gonna check it out. Catch you in a few. Beautiful blue mussel. Still attached, too. So this is interesting. See that rock shining? This is some type of mineral deposit. But, uh... Well, that's really cool. You can see where it's glittering in the sun. I'm actually gonna... I save that. That's very, very beautiful. Look at all that. beautiful rocks. Another blue mussel. Let's see what else we can find. Maybe we'll check up at the, uh, the high tide mark here, the drift mark, where all the seaweed is. Many times uh, storms will wash uh, stuff up here by the drift line and the tide does not normally reclaim up this high. So the things that are washed up here in storms will generally stay up here until either it's found or another super high tide comes and pulls everything back. So there is sea glass here, which is kind of cool. Kind of cool. Not sure what that is. Round piece here. Bits and bobs. This one's cool. This one has a ridge on it. And just that in the past couple minutes. So cool. This is a little uh, cavern that the sea has carved out here. Um, this is just so beautiful here. Very, very gorgeous. I see a lot of pieces of broken blue mussels. So again, I'm in between. Okay, so here we go. 
Hold on, my sunglasses, I don't want them to fall. So this is kind of cool here. Oops. Uh, so we've got a blue mussel here. And well, I thought this was a yellow flat periwinkle, but it is not, it's just a rock. I see little bits of sea glass. We are in an area in between some of the rock formations on the beach here. Just checking to see if the very high tide dropped anything off. So I see a piece of a lobster trap there. Nothing in particular there, so we'll keep moving. There's not a terrible amount on the beach today here, but I am finding a lot of really gorgeous, uh, gorgeously colored blue mussels. So today might be just a blue mussel day, but these, these mussels are so beautiful. Really, really beautiful. I'm gonna keep looking, but I am almost to the, the end of the beach here. Um, just beautiful coastline here. And then, uh, probably going to head back but we'll keep looking and see if we can find anything but a lot of mussels today So, just hiked along the uh, rocks here, up at the, I believe it's the Hermit Island Trail, and finished off. Uh, my, my gimbal died, so I'm on my tripod, so it might be a little shaky, but hopefully it's not too shaky, and it doesn't disrupt your viewing. So I'm gonna hike back this way. I just saw some uh, people who are fishing, hiking down the trail, and they're headed over there. They're gonna do some fishing as well, too. Um, so yeah, let's go see what else we can find. All right. I'll check out a little tide pool here rocks you can see there are thousands of periwinkles in there those are all alive and well and that is the main tide pool beautiful
All right, we're gonna wrap up our day here and I'm gonna show you some of the cool finds that we got. So you can see uh, I got, today was a muscle day. Blue mussels all across the board, beautiful. Uh, this, I, I could have picked up a hundred of them. We got some Atlantic slipper shells, uh, a beautiful limpet, uh, and a northern periwinkle and that uh, seaweed in the middle. That's actually, I believe, Irish moss. Or it could be a little bit of garnish for my, uh, my show and tell today. So thank you all for watching again. Uh, appreciate your viewership, and I will see you on that next adventure.